Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today, we're going to talk about whether or not you are using the right light to start your seeds. All right, so today we're going to talk about lighting and which lighting is best to use when you're starting seeds indoors. Now, when I was in college, I had the big fancy seed starting setup that had the, the, the lights with the correct color temperature and the setup with the mist and, and all of that grand stuff. And they had a, a decent germination rate. But once I left college, I couldn't take that home, I couldn't take that system home with me. So I had to figure out my own system. And so then, okay, what can, <laughs> what can, a, what can a family do that's broke, just got out of college, don't really have a job yet um, from his degree, fresh out of the military, what can I use? So the very first thing we just started using was just regular old-fashioned light bulbs, the incandescent light bulbs. We had an okay germination rate. It wasn't the greatest, um, but it did okay. So then as all the whole light bulb thing started coming down and they stopped really selling those, we started using, uh, I think they're called the CFLs, the little squiggly ones. Germination rate was a little bit better, but still not the greatest. Well, as time progressed and we started uh, making more money through our homestead, we were able to afford to be able to go out and get some nice fluorescent light fixtures. And so we started using them. The germination rate got a little bit better. We were able to start dedicating certain spots of the house to seed starting and, and made kind of like a little miniature greenhouse. <clears throat> well, then we moved up here to our forever homestead. And we had a whole sh shop, that, a, a shed, where we were doing homeschool in. And so we were able to dedicate one whole wall to the seed starting aspect especially when we were teaching botany and so we went out and we purchased these shelves that are here behind me and so then i wanted lights that fit those shelves so we went to home depot and we found the shop lights i just automatically assumed that they were fluorescent put them in put four of them in there one for each shelf Got them home. They didn't line up exactly perfect where we had to uh, improvise and we had to fabricate with a chicken lamp to be able to fill the whole shelf. <clears throat> and they did really well. But I just didn't like that they weren't long enough to cover the whole shelf. And so then we went and we found these black ones behind us. They fit the whole shelf. We were smart enough this time to go me measure the shelf and then take that measurement to with us to the Home Depot. <clears throat> well, we got these black ones. And the next thing you know, our germination rate was almost at 100%. So then we started looking at the factors. Well, come to find out, those lights are not fluorescent. They're LEDs. They're an LED shop light. They fit the shelves perfectly. They spread out a great amount of light. Now, the trick is to one of the, hold on, back up for a second, okay? I had great germination rate with these lights. But, all of a sudden, a lot of my uh, seedlings started getting leggy. And so I had to kind of back up a little bit. And so then we lowered them down lower. That cut out the legginess. We pretty much, when we go to start, uh, when, when we're first germinating our seeds, we have these, these lights maybe half an inch above the tray, if that. I mean, we've got them almost touching the tray. <clears throat> and that prevents the legginess. So we started going, hold up. You, Everybody screams up and down, you're not supposed to use LEDs. You're not supposed to use LEDs. Well, then we started researching it. Can you use LEDs or not? You're supposed to use LEDs because you're saying 
some of the articles that we were reading, they're saying you're not because nothing's going to germinate. And we're over here getting a great germination rate. And come to find out, the more we started reading the different blogs and the different websites and, and everything, I was getting opinions on both sides of the fence for every single light. And so the, what we have come to figure out, light does matter. Okay, I'm not saying that, that the lighting doesn't. you got to have the light. What I'm saying is, is I don't think it really matters what kind of light. You want to get a light bulb that mimics daylight as close as possible. It doesn't matter if it's a fluorescent or if it's an LED or if it is, well, that's about all that's offered anymore. Um, so you want to get it to where the color temperature is as close to daylight as possible. And then the rest of, the, rest of it is keeping that room that you're starting the seeds in around 75 degrees. We like to keep ours between 75 and 80, so that way the soil temperature that is in our seed starting trays hover be about 70 to 72 degrees. And then you just keep them moist. And we have a great germination rate. So long story short is it doesn't matter what kind of light bulb that you're using, what kind of light, as long as it is as close to mimicking daylight as possible. You'll see on the side of the box, it'll say color temperature daylight, or it'll, it'll say something relating to it being close to it, to the daylight color or the daylight temperature. That's the one that you want. It doesn't matter if it's fluorescent or LEDs, at least in our experience. And you should have a great germination rate also. Just remember to keep that room warm and keep your soil damp and moist. And you should have a great germination rate from your seeds. If you found this video helpful and informative, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell. And that's it. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. God bless and have a nice day. Use LEDs. Don't use LEDs. Use fluorescents. Use just the old fashioned, uh, what are those things called? Iridescent? Incandescent. Incandescent. All right, we'll do this again. Incandescent. What did I say? Iridescent. <laughs>